Hi, I'm Dr. Catherine and today we're going to be talking about dog and child safety. So how to keep your dog safe from your child and how to keep your child safe from your dog. Firstly, we'll discuss the most common reasons why kids get bitten by a dog. So what kind of things they do to a dog to result in a dog bite. And secondly, we'll discuss safe ways for dogs and kids to play together. So I want to preface all of this by saying that any time a dog bites a child, it's not the child's fault and it's also not the dog's fault. It's our fault. We allow an inappropriate interaction to occur between a child and a dog and that's what causes the dog bite. So it's up to us to understand behaviors that can cause dogs to bite children and do our very best to prevent that from occurring. Let's first go over the most common reasons why a dog will bite a child. Firstly, it could be that your child has gotten in the way of your dog enjoying their meal. So dogs should always be separated in another room or somehow physically separated from children when they're eating their food so that they can enjoy their food in peace. Secondly, it might be that your child has picked up the dog's toy and just like food, dogs can get really possessive of their toys. So always keep dog toys separate from children. And similarly, if your dog really loves getting into your children's toys, make sure that the dog isn't able to do that because they might mistake your child's toy for their own toy and also become possessive of those as well. Third, your dog might bite out of fear if your child is making really loud sounds. That can be really stressful for dogs um, and they might be so scared and just kind of bite reactively um, as a way of protecting themselves. And fourth, this can be a really tricky one for us to understand, but children often get bitten by dogs when they invade dogs' personal space. So even stuff that looks nice to us, so if the child comes up and wants to hug the dog or pat them on the head, or maybe not so nice things like pulling their ears or putting their eyes, putting their fingers in their eyes or their mouths, or even laying on top of the dog, they can get really annoying. Um, maybe your dog has been tolerant of such behavior up until a point, but most dogs, if not every dog, will eventually reach their threshold and just need some personal space, or maybe they're just having a bad day. So I know we see a lot of cute videos on YouTube and lots of cute photos of babies and dogs lying together on Facebook, but that's actually really dangerous. Never trust a dog with a child that's trying to get in their space. And then lastly, similarly, dogs can bite children when they're happily sleeping and the dog, sorry, and the child comes up and pounces on that dog. So we all get annoyed if somebody wakes us up unexpectedly and the same for dogs. So now we've gone over some of the most common reasons why dogs bite. So that is dogs being annoyed when they're trying to eat their meal, the child's trying to play with the dog's favorite toy or the dog thinks that the child's toys are theirs and they want to play with them. The dog might get scared from a child making loud noises. They might get really annoyed or scared from the a child invading the dog's physical space. Or the dog might be sleeping happily and the kid comes and pounces on them. So now we've covered that, let's talk about how to prevent dog bites. And prevention doesn't necessarily mean you have to euthanize your dog or you have to send them to a shelter or try and rehome them but it does mean that we can never be complacent. So regardless of your dog's breed or their age or their prior history interacting with kids, maybe they've been happy to be climbed on their whole lives, we can never be complacent because any dog is capable of biting a child. Two things we have to remember to prevent dog bites. Number one, we need to keep physical distance. And number two, any time they're together, that time has to be supervised. So with regards to physical distance, wherever possible, keep your dog and your child separated, just because obviously a child can't get bitten by a dog if they're not next to each other. And so that might be in separate rooms in the house, or if you wanna have everybody in together, that's fine, but you, you might wanna erect some baby or pet play pens and put the kid or the dog in that playpen so they can still be in the family living area but there's just um, no risk of them getting too close to one another. If you do want your kid and dog to be able to play together safely that's great but we have to make sure that that time is always supervised so you need to be right there. You never get complacent you'll always have to make sure that you're with the child and the dog at the same time and once the child is old enough to learn how to 
play with the dog and treat the dog respectfully, then you can teach them how to do so. So you might want to teach them how to safely pat the dog. So patting them on the torso, on their side, is much less threatening to them than on their head, for example, which can be really overwhelming for a dog. Um, you might also want to teach your child how to safely play to fetch with them, obviously making sure that the dog isn't biting their little fingers when they pick up the ball. So now we've covered both the most common reasons why children get bitten by dogs and also how to prevent dog bites from happening. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.